Hi YouTube, how are we doing? Gavin again from Lucid Computer Solutions. Um, I just wanted to um, show you guys, for the real tech nerds out there, um, about how to install memory in a HP ML 110 Gen 10, quite a mouthful isn't it, um, server. It's really straightforward and easy, but there's a little not a trick, it's not a trick, it's just something which maybe you might overlook, it's easy to do unless you know these things. So what I've got down here, I'll try and get it in shot, is an ML, uh, by the way, it's not on the floor, it's on an anti-static mat, hopefully you can see that, so don't be alarmed, he's putting it straight on the carpet, I'm not, as you can see this green thing is a static mat to protect it from static. Anyway, um, back to the server, so I've opened it up, as you can see, it's got the, the side panel missing. And the reason that's important is because on the side panel itself, here's one I made earlier, um, there's lots of information here, but one really important in that green box there that you can see there, that tells you where to install the memory and it will save you so much time. Um, what I was doing is the server can pre, pre um, installed with 16 gig of RAM and I just wanted to add in another 16 gig to take it up to 32. Now there's six slots inside the server and rather than you going down the route of trial and error, trying one slot, trying to boot the server, seeing what you get, there's no need. In that green box that you can see inside the panel, it tells you exactly where to install. Um, no matter if you've got one, two, three, four, five, or even six sticks of memory to install, it will tell you based on the amount you've got which slots to put them in. So I looked at that and it told me that if I've got two um, two loads of memory, I need to use slots four and five basically. So it can pre-installed with 16 gig in slot four and I just put my additional 16 gig into slot five. So it's all there on that side panel. And yeah, so again, back into the side of the server, which I'm not gonna to touch at the moment because I don't have my static band on and things. But inside there, I can assure you there are now two sticks of 16 gig of RAM ready for this server to, to be installed. So just a little tip really for the for the tech engineers out there, just to check that. The, the reason I'm putting this out there is, I know for lots of you, like myself, it's like, well, that's just obvious. Well, actually, I remember being a very young engineer and I didn't know that. And I've been sent out to install some memory in a server and I went through the whole trial and error. I was trying all the different slots to get it booted and actually it was just pointed out to me. The answer to that is inside the panel. So that's the reason for the video. Um, for the, there'll be people out there who don't, who don't realize that and I wanna help them people. So hopefully that will help you go forth, make it easy for yourselves. Um, if this video has been useful, please do smash the like button. It really helps grow our channel. Please do subscribe to our channel. Uh, please do comment. I try and personally get back to everybody, so feel free to comment. And do use the links below to connect with me on Instagram, LinkedIn, and uh, Twitter. And yeah, I'm going to sign off now. Gavin from Lucid Compute Solutions. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.